One of the best practices in programming is to join a community of programmer whereby you can actually learn and share your programming content. So in this video, I am going to be showing you how to join the Scratch community. Okay, uh, the Scratch community contains beginners, intermediate, and advanced programmer that shares their you know programming content like um, the games, animation, uh, a lot of lovely stuffs. All right, so you would enjoy joining this community. So I advise you to join this community uh, to actually share your own programming uh, content too. All right, so to join, you all, all you need to do is just to go to the uh, scratch.mit.edu link, which is in the description below. And then after you click on that link, it takes you to this environment. And then you will just click on um, the join that is you're ready to join the Scratch community. That's what it means. So it's going to ask for your username. So you type in your username. For example, my username for now is Flourish Field um, 2 because I've created more, uh, a lot of username with Flourish Field. So I'm using Flourish Field 2 and then you give it a password. Uh, for now, the said username hasn't taken. Can you see that? So I need to, you know, change it to something. Let's say Flourish Field 7. And then I type in my password. Uh, you also type in a unique password, okay? Now, uh, mind you, your username could be a combination of text and numbers. That is alphanumeric data, okay? Uh, that's what your username should be. Do not use your real username. Do not use your real name, okay? You have to use a name that is not actually um, linked to your real name, okay? All right, so that's it. Right, so this is also, I want to confirm my password. So that's what I'm doing right now. And after that, you just click next. So just follow the instruction. You select your country. Um, I'll select my country like this. Uh, select Nigeria, and then you click on next. And then you select your month of birth, which is June. And then select um, so 2010, for example. And then you click on next. Now you have to select which gender you are. If, okay, if you're a boy, that is your male. If you're a girl, that's female. So obviously. I'm selecting mail and then I click on next and then you type in your your email address. Your email address, uh, mine is actually flourish, flourishfield20 at gmail.com. So now that's the email address. And um, after you type in your email address, um, a confirmation code will be sent to your email address to just confirm that you are the owner of this username. That's all. So you click on create and then it will be created for you. You see, welcome to Scratch Flower Field 7. You're logged in now, so you just click on get started. And then, voila, you are right there in the Scratch community. Now, one good thing about you writing your Scratch programming code in the Scratch community is that you can actually learn from people, like I said earlier in the video, that you can learn from people's code. You see, you have a lot of people the doing a lot of fun stuff you can actually share your own also i'll be showing you how to do that in the series of videos um in the next video i'll be showing you how to create a dice game and i'm going to show you how to create that dice game and then share it to the scratch community so that people can actually comment like and even favorite your app okay so it's a way of people even telling you how to even improve on your code okay you can actually learn instead of you going you know, trying to, you know, do everything by yourself. You know, you need people. You need teamwork. So that is what all of this is all about, okay? So this is how the Scratch community looks like. You can confirm your email, okay? Just check on your email and then confirm, and then that'll be all for now. So to create a new um, project, you just click on this. But that will be all for now. So if you have any question or contribution, you can actually drop it as a comment in the comment section below. I'll be glad to respond. But don't forget, most importantly, to subscribe to Flourish Field and tell your friends about this.